Hey guys, so um, here goes the part two of the scarf or your crochet for beginners. This is the scarf that we made using the same method that I showed you guys in part one. I just continued the rows all the way up. Now from here to here with my crochet needle, you'll see is 25 rows. So this is what 25 rows would look like. This is not a scarf, y'all, okay? So please forgive me, um, I misspoke in part one. No, it is not 25 rows that you would be doing. You'll have to do much more than that, okay? So in order for the scarf to be like a good length around your neck and go down your chest and everything um, to about your hip, to about your hip, I have actually did 84 rows. Okay, 84 rows. So some of you guys done uh, 24 rows or 25 rows and said to yourself, well, hey, this is not long enough. You guys just keep going. Keep going with your um, with your rows until it's long enough to satisfy your length, okay? Some people are taller, some people are shorter, some people have longer upper bodies, some people have shorter upper bodies, so it's up to you. 84, 84 rows is what's suitable for my um my scarf so that's what i did so now i'm at the end of the scarf but i am not finished because as i told you guys i'm going to be putting some letters on the scarf that will be in video part three but for part two what i'm doing here is i'm going to add some what we will call fringes to the bottom of the scarf so i have my um my daughter's book here, you can get like any size book or any size DVD, depending on how long you want your fringes to be, you can get anything that's rectangular shape or square shape to help you just um, keep the, the fringes, um, what should I say, even, right? So I'm gonna try to put my phone up here on my, um, on my Lysol wipe um, container because my uh, my phone holder or my phone mount is not here with me in this office it's in my other office and I just want to get to do this video with y'all so I'm doing the width not the length of the book but the width of the book okay not the length of the book but the width of the book that's what I'm using so I'm going to put the end of my yarn right at the tip here. And I'm just going to wrap it around the book, not too tight, loosely enough, loosely enough that, um, that when I let it go, it's not like pulling or bending the book at all. Just wrap it around nice and loose. So here we go. I'm going to try to bring this down to a different area so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just wrapping it around. Nice and loose. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. Now, uh, remember we have 14. We have 14 chains. So 14 times 2 is 28. So you'll need 28 pieces of yarn from this color, um, the color that I'm using on my letters is going to be the majority of my fringes color. So I'm going to be using more of that color than this one, okay? Because the scarf is already purple, so I'm going to be using less purple than, um, less purple on my fringes than than um than the other color so i'm gonna just go ahead and wrap this around because i need 24 did i say 24 or 48 20 i need 28 14 and 14 i need 28 28 now for the other color because i want more i would do 14 times 3 okay uh, let me see now. Let me see if I'm saying that right. So it's 
This is 14 times two because there's two sides of the yarn. This is 14 times two. But I want at least um, six different fringes coming out of out of the scarf itself which means that I would actually have to have two of the other color and one of the purple color, okay? So, it depends on how thick you want it. Now, once you're at the end here, what you're gonna do, this is the beginning of your yarn, take a scissors and cut it right here and you do the same thing for the other color if you want it to just be like one color then you just continue with the purple and depending on how thick you want your fringes at the bottom then shh, depending on how thick you want your fringes at the bottom then you'll um you'll continue adding more rows but uh if you don't want it thick then you'll go ahead and just use what you have Sorry guys, so I had to pause for a second because baby's crying too much. So now, the reason why I didn't want to pull it too tight because it would have been easier for you to just pull the book out like that. So here we go. We're just going to cut, just cut it straight across. Or you could leave the book in and cut it. It really doesn't matter. But um, I don't plan on moving my hands. So it's just easier for me to just cut straight across. This is my thread cutter, so um, if you guys have anything bigger than this, you can definitely use a bigger, uh, a bigger scissors. I'm trying to get my words together, bigger scissors. So here is the fringes, the length of the fringes that's going to go onto, onto the bottom of the scarf, right? And then I'm going to get the other color and I'm going to put on here as well. I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like to put the fringes on. So let me grab that other color and start so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. Um, this is the yellow that I'm going to be using to make my letters. And I'm showing you guys my table. The reason why I'm showing you my table is because... I have separated all of my fringes that I'm going to be putting onto my scarf. You see my scarf in the center there. I have four of the yellow and two of the purple. That's going to go into each chain of my scarf. So from the beginning part of my scarf here, I am going to go to the first chain. And I'm just going to push my needle, my crochet needle in there. Then I'm going to take my four, my daughter's trying to help me out. Uh, no, mama, let me, okay, here she goes again. She's sleepy, y'all, I'm sorry. So I'm going to take my four crochet, uh, hold on, y'all, let me get her quiet. So I'm going to take my, my, my um, first row. My first row, right? Shh, come on, y'all. Y'all making too much noise. Y'all gonna have to get out my office if y'all gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna take my first row, right, y'all? And I'm gonna use my crochet hook to pull it through, right? And then once I pull it through, I'm gonna, in the open space, I'm gonna push this bottom piece from the bottom, from the bottom. And I'm just going to pull it, and that's going to be how I'm going to attach all of my fringes to the bottom of my scarf. So it's really simple. Uh, you don't have to stitch it down. It's just a matter of taking your time, taking your patience, lining all of them up like I'm doing right now. Um, of course, at the end of this, we're going to cut them all nice and straight and even and everything, but fold it in half. You see what I'm saying? Get it in there. Pull it through. Then again, open it, open it from the bottom. 
shove the bottom of it through there pull it make sure you try to keep it even and you're just going to continue doing that all through the bottom of your yarn okay the bottom of your scarf so yes it is time consuming but everything made with love is time consuming this earth was not made overnight okay it was time consuming when the earth was made and look how beautiful it came out right I am not comparing my scarf to the earth, not by any means whatsoever, but I'm saying the analogy of it is that everything worth having takes time. Everything worth having takes time, is my point. All right, y'all. So just continue doing that all the way down. I mean, some people like how it looks uneven. Some people like it to be even. It's up to you. I would like for you to stop doing that. You keep crying and then stopping and then crying and then stopping. All right, y'all. So I had to take a little five minute hiatus to put the baby to sleep because she's teething and she's not happy um, when I am not paying attention. So I had to do that. Okay, y'all. So, um, this is what it looks like when it's done. This is how full I like mine on the bottom. So this is what I did. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side of the scarf. Um, but like I said, my yellow is going to show more than my purple. Because the majority of the scarf is already purple. And I would like the rest of my scarf to look like it incorporates both the letters and the base of the scarf itself. So I'll be right back to show you guys what the other side looks like, um, both of them. And then part three would be me stitching the letters onto the scarf. All right, y'all, so this is the end of the scarf and how it looks at the bottom and I will definitely um, be doing a part three, so please look out for the part three to see um, how I add the letters onto the scarf. 